Well, welcome to my shooting deck. Uh, Howlhead likes to stay back a little bit. When I start talking about air, he's a little conscious about what his hairstyle looks like, and he wants to be an extra foot away. But I thought I would talk about air. I mean, that's what air guns are all about. And uh, wouldn't it be nice if the air's cheap? And I come up with a couple of ways that it might be cheap. Uh, first of all, keep in mind that there's nothing cheaper than uh, a Springer or a brake barrel because it's just using the air that's right here and uh, no problems with it at all. Uh, shoot as much as you want. Uh, but some of us want to get on into the PCP rifles and now we start paying for air. We either buy a compressor, uh, a small one, uh, we buy a big one, uh, and then we got to buy tanks and all of a sudden air isn't so cheap anymore. So I thought I would show you how I've made air just as cheap as possible. Well, first of all, take a look at these tanks. Uh, these are uh, 100 cubic inch tanks and uh, they're about as big a tank as you would put on a scuba diver. I found two in Craigslist, these first two, and I hit them with uh, some sandpaper. I also hit them with a drill and a wire brush spinning around because there was some nicks in them. And I wanted to repaint them. They just looked horrible. Keep in mind the scuba tanks are made of aluminum. They don't rust. And they're painted bright colors like yellow and uh, uh, royal blue and reds. And why? Because scuba divers want to be able to see each other 10, 15, 25 feet away in uh, dark areas way below the surface. But you and I don't have that need when we are talking about air rifles. So I sanded them down and decided to paint them a dark gloss gray. And that's what I've done with these first two. A couple of weeks ago, I was at the scuba place having them filled up and somebody traded in two ugly red ones for a new set of aqualung tanks and I bought those two from the uh, uh, scuba dealer. Now, what do these things cost? Well, they can be four or $500 each by themselves. And I was able in both cases to buy uh, them at 125 a piece. And you kind of have to look for a while till you get them at that price. But, uh, and then these two cost me 250 for the two of them, still $125 a piece. You still need uh, this piece to go on a valve. Here's a one with a shorter uh, link. But you need that to get the air from the tank and into the rifle. And I'm going to show you that because there's a way to make that cheap too. First of all, uh, the scuba place near us uh, is $7.50 to fill this. And I get between 100 and 200 rifle fills for $7.50. That's pretty cheap, but there's a problem, and let me bring that to your attention. Um, an air gun ceases to be accurate when you get down to 1,500 cubic uh, feet pounds uh, per inch, maybe 1,200. Certainly at 1,000 uh, foot pounds, we lose a lot of power in an air gun, and so we stop shooting it till we fill it with air again. Um, notice that these tanks then, they come out at 3,300 feet per se, uh, feet per inch pressure. They um, start coming down from that 3,300 and once they get to about 1,500, then they can't help a, a rifle that's ready for air because it's 1,500, the other's 1,500. And now you've got a tank that's about half of its air out and you got to refill it again. So there's a little trick that I learned. So here's, uh, here's how we do it. First of all, you stick with one tank and uh, you let it drain down. And when it starts getting to 2,500 pounds uh, of pressure, which you want your rifle up to 3,000 or higher, always come back to tank number one and then go to tank number two just to top it up that little extra bit. 
But time and time again, you always come down to tank one. And that will drain tank one right down to where it's no longer needed. And then we should make tank number two, the, the topping tank, we make it the regular fill tank. And we use it until we go to another one. But whether you end up with four tanks like I did, that's a different question. But uh, at least tells you that if you do it in that fashion, uh, always using a base tank to get a base amount of power, you can really run one down and then ultimately run the next one before you head over to the scuba place. To me, it's 30, 35 minutes away. That's the biggest cost to me is to go get it and to bring it back. But they fill them quick. Now, let me kind of show you how they fill them. So with your European guns, the, the, the Hatsons, the Crawls from Turkey, the others, you're going to use a fill probe with this male connector and she'll sit in here. Now that whole dial there turns when I'm done to keep the dust out of it, but it's in. And uh, once it's in, we want to keep an eye on this little gauge that's right here on top of the Aqualung tank. Um, you can see as I start to put the air out, she tops it right off to 3,000 feet foot pounds and I tighten it back and I now release the air. This allows me to safely take out the fill probe. Something else that you should see uh, and that is how in the world did I get this on? And uh, was it difficult? The answer is no. But watch what happens here as I turn this screw which has a, a point on it. That goes in the back of, of these, it's covered by this uh, little rubber piece, but it goes in the back here. And that piece right there cups up to this piece, which is where the air comes out when I turn this dial. Uh, by putting it back here and tightening this pointed bolt, I am now allowing air to come in here up to this valve Here's my last chance to close it up or open it up when I now take it out of the tank. It doesn't take long once you get used to this to fill your guns quickly and easily and hopefully the air is cheap.